We have seen stories lately a lot on how local veterans are not being connected to important services, but we just met a local veteran who found a path forward at a local community college. Paula Tutman has his story of survival and a new beginning with a four legged companion who's going to change everything. As Bobby Champagne strolls across the campuses of Macomb Community College, he smiles. Smiling is a big deal to him these days because for a long time, he'd lost his. We went to the VA hospital. When he was asked about therapy. Yeah, you know, what do you want to get out of this? And I said, uh, to smile, you know, to be, to be happy, you know. Bobby is a survivor. He survived two improvised explosive device attacks while serving in Iraq. Off to my side, you can see kind of just a pile of trash, rubble, you know. And once our back end hit that, that's when uh, the IED went off. When he returned to the States, his old self did not. Post-traumatic stress syndrome was a constant disruption. I have these dreams, it's like a, it's a record on loop. The smell, everything's vivid, you know, you feel like you're there, you know. And then I, uh, and then once you wake up, you're afraid to go back to bed. Afraid of crowds and closed spaces, it was suggested he go to school for therapy. He stumbled into Macomb Community College and stumbled into its Office of Veteran and Military Services. While the function of the office is a focus on student vets, no veterans are turned away. We onboard anybody who comes in with, with a set of questions so that we can really not just get to know the, what they're directly asking us, but we can get to know what they really need. And in connecting with this community of help, support, love, and real resources, Bobby found a way to smile again. I think there's so many different types of smiles, whether it's the smile I give my wife, whether it's the smile I give my children. He also met another student vet who knew about a service dog program, and Saturday, Bobby finds yet a new reason to smile when Kennedy comes to stay. If I'm going through a dream or a nightmare, um, Kennedy will hear this, see this, and she's going to be trained to turn on the lights and kind of wake me up uh, out, of, out of the dream or wake me up uh, out of, you know, what I'm going through. This place is a conduit. I mean, if it wasn't for Macomb Community College Vet Center, then I wouldn't have saw a veteran with a dog who could change my family's life. You know, and Bobby's service doesn't just stop with the military. He's going to study psychology so that he can continue his service to other vets. What's incredible about this, Sandra, is what this community college is doing to connect vets with resources. The director told me if you Google vet services, veterans get lost. But here, they have an opportunity to actually be found. What a special opportunity. Thank you so much, Paula.